mother, I do not need a blind date, particularly not with some verbally incontinent spinster who smokes like a chimney, drinks like a fish, and dresses like her mother. I don't think you're an idiot at all. I mean, there are elements of the ridiculous about you. Your mother's pretty interesting. And, and you really are an appallingly bad public speaker. And um, you tend to let whatever's in your head come out of your mouth without much consideration of the consequences. What I'm trying to say very inarticulately is I like you very much. Abby, <laughs> look at the state of us. You and me stumble into the VIP room by mistake, and it's only a matter of moments before they show us the door. I read that you should never go out with someone if you can think of three reasons why you shouldn't. Can you think of three? Yes. Which are? Well, first one. I can't ride, I can't speak Latin, my legs only come up to here, and yes, I will always be just a little bit fat. But you're not perfect either. You look down your nose at absolutely everyone, and you're incapable of doing anything spontaneous or potentially affectionate. It feels like you're waiting to find someone in the VIP room who's, who's so fantastic, just the way she is, that you don't need to fix her. See, the problematic thing is, I love you. I'm pregnant. I think that this is quite possibly the most wonderful piece of information I've ever received in my entire life. I don't know about vibes or negative energy or prenatal wind and even less about algorithms, so I will confess that the laws of attraction are somewhat beyond me. In fact, Bridget defies comprehension generally. But despite or perhaps owing to the bewildering litany of catastrophes I've witnessed over the last 40 years, I feel I've come to know Bridget rather well and I've spent those years caring for her very deeply. And that may defy automated reasoning, but there's nothing I can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. Maybe you should try and stay around a little, instead of saving the world by cell phone. I make her happy, Mark. And I suppose your algorithm tells you you're destined to be together, does it? Actually, it does. The fact that you've been trying and failing for the past ten years tells me you are not. Sometimes you love a person because of all the reasons they're not like you. Sometimes you love a person just because they feel like home. What if it's not yours? And I love him anyway. Just as I love you. Just the way you were, the way you are. Richard Jones, will you marry me?